The Queen will not be able to overrule Brexit, despite having the power to stop bills from being passed by Parliament, academic experts have claimed. Top constitutional lawyers and academics are debating over the Queen's potential role in Brexit, with rising concerns Her Majesty could be swayed into withholding assent to the Brexit bill. Under Britain's unwritten constitution, the Queen must give royal assent to all legislation passed by the Houses of Parliament before it can become law. However, she can also decide to refuse assent for any piece of legislation. Lord Panic, QC, a Times law columnist, wrote to the Times this week insisting the Queen's decision to withhold her assent be utterly without precedent. The letter said, the Queen's agreement to give her assent to a bill is a formality. Given that Brexit is the most politically explosive and divisive issue of our day, the notion of involving the Queen in vetoing the Brexit bill ought to be regarded as inconceivable. Even though the Queen retains the power to veto any legislation, this has not been in practice since the reign of Queen Anne, who used it to veto the Scottish Militia Act in 1707. However, Rodney Brazier, professor of constitutional law at Manchester University, said it would be unconstitutional for the Queen to not accept the advice of her ministers, even if they urge her to withhold the Brexit bill. He wrote, few actions more dangerous to the perceived and vital political neutrality of constitutional monarchy could be imagined than the Queen rejecting the government's advice. Mr. Brazier added that the convention that the Queen acts on ministerial advice is based in democracy. Professor Mark Elliott from Cambridge University and Gavin Phillipson, who signed the written letter to the Times urging the Queen not to withhold her assent, counteracted Mr. Brazier's argument. They said their point is not directed at what the Queen should do but at what the government should not do adding that ministers should not advise refusal or consent in the first place. The pair continued, the Queen must not be placed in the acutely difficult position of having to choose between rejecting ministerial advice or vetoing. For the first time in 300 years, a bill surrounded by the most intense political controversy. Her Majesty has never made her views on Brexit clear, because she must remain politically neutral as head of state. In a speech at Sandringham Women's Institute last month, the Queen called for common ground, respecting different point of views and never losing sight of the bigger picture. Addressing the crowd, she said, the continued emphasis on patience, friendship, a strong community focus and considering the needs of others are as important today as they were when the group was founded all those years ago. Of course, every generation faces fresh challenges and opportunities. As we look for new answers in the modern age, I for one prefer the tried and tested recipes, like speaking well of each other and respecting different points of view, coming together to seek out the common ground, and never losing sight of the bigger picture.